finally Friday. Um, fixing my camera and I'm gonna show you what I have for breakfast. So I have four of the chicken sausage for two points and two eggs scrambled for zero. So it is a two point breakfast, but I had um, a cup of hot chocolate this morning for one point. So three points so far today. So not bad. Um, you feel crooked to me. So let's see. I do, I have, I have to clean my bathroom today. So I either do it today or tomorrow. I just haven't gotten to that yet this week. I, I wipe it down every day, but I, um, I don't know. I, I just I forget Wednesday. I just got busy doing stuff. Then Thursday, I wanted to get some crafts done. <laughs> so I worked upstairs all day. And then this morning, my son only has half a day of school. So I'm going to, I have to go to the banks, a couple banks I have to go to. And then that's all. So I might come home and clean that. Um, on my video, I started telling you Wednesday that this week or next week, but I think I might do it today. I usually like to do it before garbage day to get rid of stuff, but I just, I, I don't know. This week has just been kind of odd for me. Um, but I was going to clean out my bathroom cupboard. Um, it's, we have, I have like boxes of things like up above and I can't reach them, but I have a stool in there. I could just pull a stool out and grab the box down if I need something, but I haven't touched those boxes like ever. The only one I've touched is my nail polish one. And then the other, one of the boxes up there has the boys bar soap in it. So I was thinking, you know, I want to, I've been wanting to, it's on my February monthly cleaning is to clean out the bathroom cupboard. I do not have a linen closet. It's all, my towels are in there. One shelf is towels and then one shelf is what we use like every day. And then the top shelf is like, I don't know. We... I have, I have a bottle of, I think it's myrrh and it was used, like my husband used it for his dad when his dad, his dad would have what, like what my husband has, cellulitis. Um, but his dad's skin would like break open and stuff. My husband's does not do that. Um, so they used to use this myrrh on it and then this like ultraviolet light or something. <laughs> I don't have the light. Um, but I have the bottle of myrrh and I'm like, I am getting rid of this. I mean, his dad died in 2002 and this bottle is from way before his dad died. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I just need to get rid of some stuff and just organize it. You know, every couple months I have to do this and organize it because my son, um, he will, uh, if he needs a band aid, he just tears through all the band aids and, you know, so I'm like, I just... I open it up every day, several times a day to do something. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to clean this. So it just needs organized. So I'm going to do that um, hopefully today. And then um, I think that's about it. I I'm, might do a little cook with me in this video today because I'm making oxtails for dinner. So I thought I would bring you along and show you how I make them, which is how his, my husband's family always made them. And um, I've always done them in a pressure cooker, but now that I have my air, not my air fryer, um, my instant pot, I have done them in there. Now I don't, I don't eat them. I, I used to, but now that I'm on Weight Watchers, I really don't because I feel they're kind of greasy. It's kind of a greasy meal. And, um, I just, I mean, the beef in it's fine. It's very good, but the bones, um, I don't know what it's called. It, it, like it'll jelly up and then you eat that because that is supposed to help your joints and stuff. It's very, it's supposed to be very healthy and good for you. I don't, I don't know if it's called, um, marrow I think it's the bone marrow I think and it, it jellies up when you pressure cook it and then you you eat it and my husband loves that because then like the next couple days his joints feel so much better but it's a very expensive meat here I got two packs and they totaled 22 dollars <laughs> so um I just let my husband have it my son will have some too 
So I will, um, I think we still have a little bit of leftover from last night. We didn't finish all our leftovers for dinner. So I'll probably have a little something left over from there and I'll fix a potato and a vegetable with it for tonight. But I'll show you how I make them. I use an old cookbook of his dad's and stuff. So um, his mom died when they were young. Ray was only in his, um, I think he was in his early 20s when his mom died. So they, they cooked for themselves a lot, you know, and his dad cooked for them what he could, you know, so anyway, um, what else was I going to tell you? It is 18 degrees here, but feels like eight. <laughs> so cold. We're supposed to get some snow next week, so we'll see how that goes. Um, it actually did not snow overnight for the first time this week, <laughs> which was different. And um, I don't know, I think that's about it. I'm going to, I've done everything except empty my dishwasher, so I have to do that yet. Everything else is done. I will probably do some laundry tomorrow because my my husband wears his long underwear to work, so I wash that on the weekends so that they're fresh for next week. And I usually you I usually wash winter coats on the weekend. Um, I washed I used to wash them I used to wash them every weekend. Now I do it every other weekend because my son's not going to school. But when he went to school, I washed his coat and my husband's every week. But since he's not going to school, I'm, I've been just washing them every other week. So, and um, I, I feel like there was something I wanted to say and, and I can never remember when I get on here, but um, I felt I had a good week eating. I, I just do not feel like I'm losing anything. I don't know why, I just do not, but I know I was gonna tell you. So. I didn't weigh myself though. My son, my, my son got on the scale this morning. He said he's down 1.2, so that's good. He's been doing real good, but see, I, I don't have any apple juice here and I don't have ice cream. I have not been buying any of that stuff. I don't really eat the ice cream or anything, but the boys, they'll devour like a, a tub of ice cream like in three nights. And I'm like, I'm not buying this. This is not how we should be eating this. So. I'm just really trying to get everybody to eat better and stuff. So I, um, so Wednesday is Lent coming up this week and I, I'm going to plan out my menu as far as like Fridays go for Lent. I want to plan out my Friday menus because, um, I, I actually enjoy cooking like meatless meals for us. I have some fish in the freezer. I have, um, what else do I have? We're gonna have, Wednesday we're gonna have macaroni and cheese. Wednesday's gonna be kind of a, it's Ash Wednesday, but I don't think I'm going to church because they're just sprinkling ashes on your head. <laughs> I'm just not in love with that. And I, I guess I feel like why, why can't he bless the ashes and put them in a little cup, bless them all, and hand us a cup and we can do our own. You know what I mean? I guess I don't know why they don't do something like that, but I know some churches have been doing wine like that. They put wine in those little tiny cups and then you come up and you take your host and you can grab a little cup of wine and go back. Um, so I don't know. I just, I don't know how that's going to go and I'm just, so I think I'm just gonna, my husband's off that day because we have our fish dinner and he fries the pierogi and potato pancakes. So he is going to, uh, he'll probably go to mass. It's at nine o'clock. I don't think I will. I think I'm just gonna sit in my son's room and watch it with him. And then um, I, I don't have to go down there until a little bit later. So, um, I don't, my pickup for my Lent orders from four to seven. So I'll probably go down like around three and, um, cause my son will have piano and clarinet that day. And so he's just staying home, but I'm going to make macaroni and cheese. And, 
so I told him that, you know, whenever you feel hungry, it'll be all ready to just throw in the oven for like a half hour and then you can eat. And then we'll eat when we come home. So that's the plan. Because I do not, I don't want potato pancake. I do not want, um, I have pierogies here and we'll have those at some point in time. And then I don't want the fish they're making. They, they bake it with a lemon lemon pepper butter or something it was like drowning in butter last year and i'm like no <laughs> so and then the one person makes macaroni and cheese and it, it's he don't use any milk or anything he he claims he makes it like it's down south well it's drier than dry <laughs> so i'm like no i'm not participating in this fish dinner bars we're, we're not going to do any we didn't last year either we we didn't do any, like we would go to, uh, you know, different churches every week for a fish dinner. And I, last year I was like, you know, with the whole COVID thing, I'm like, no, a lot of them did it for pickup. And I'm like, no, we're not doing this. I want to cook at home. So, um, so that's my plan. I want to make a, my menu for Lent and, um, go from there. And you know, I'll try to make it as healthy as possible. Like I, Friday, next Friday, we're going to have fish and chips because I have French fries and I just bake my fries. I don't even air fry them. I just bake them. And then the fish, I, I'll, I'll probably air fry because I did that air frying fish and that came out so good. So I will probably air fry the fish, but I'll bake the fries. So I try to, you know, make it halfway decent for us to eat. And then, um... I have a lot of things that I want. A couple years ago when I was, when I started this Weight Watcher weight loss for the third time, it was, I think it was 2018. I, I got real serious when it was Lent. I'm like, I am going to do this. I'm going to stick to it like glue for Lent. And I did. And I, that's when I started losing all my weight. So I need to get back to that you know, stick to it like glue and not, I don't feel I do bad, but I must not do something right. I don't know. So I am going to go back to my stick to this like glue and not, so I choose not to give anything up for Lent. I choose to do things, do something. So I'm going to stick to this program like glue and I am going to um, I'm going to try to do some sort of exercise or something, um, at least during the week. I don't know on the weekends. I will see if I will see how I feel and if I can do it on the weekends. My goal is I'd like to stick to it every day of Lent. I want to do it. I just, I want to do this. I feel I have to do this and I feel like I can do this. So I'm going to up my water. I've been, I usually have about four of these a day, depending on how much ice I put in it. It's usually 24 ounces. Um, if I don't put a lot of ice in it, I can get like up to 32 ounces of water in it. I've been drinking about four of these. I'd like to up that to six. I know I can do it. I've, I can do it. I've done it a lot. Um, but it's just a matter of stopping and drinking, you know, cause sometimes like when I'm crafting in that, I, I don't drink, eat, or do anything. And then I'm like, oh, I need to drink. So, um, my, now I've already filled this once today, or this is my second fill, I should say. So, um, you know, so and I don't count, like I use, I've had hot chocolate and put water in. I don't count that water at all. To me, this is water. If I have tea or hot chocolate, that's not water. <laughs> so that's just in my little mind how I feel. So my goal is to do some sort of exercise and stick to my, um, stick to my weight loss or my Weight Watchers, whatever, everything, stick to everything and not, no cheating, no, no sampling, no nothing. Um, and eat, cook, cook good things, cook healthy things. I. I feel I do that like like tonight's dinner. That's why I had it on the menu this week because my husband was asking for some oxtails. So I got them a couple weeks ago and I'm like, okay, we're going to have oxtails. I'll have it this week because during Lent, I don't want to have 
this kind of a meal. So I'm going to try to cook like healthy meals for us. Um, my husband, want, he likes a little something sweet after dinner. And um, so he has a couple frozen poppy rolls. He brought one out. And then he has, he still has a sweet bread from Christmas. So I feel if that's what you want to eat, you go ahead. I hate the poppy roll. I'm not a poppy roll fan. I do like sweet bread, but I know I can stay away from that. Him and Roman can finish that off. Um, so I feel if I'm going to make desserts, I'm going to make Weight Watcher healthy desserts and just have the portion that we're supposed to have and not like, oh, this is uneven in the bowl <laughs> or the pan. I got to make it even, you know, and have a little more. I can't do that. I've got to stick to everything. And I'm going to go back to weighing and measuring every single thing I have and not just eyeball it. I'm going to weigh it and measure it. And um, that's my goal. So that's my goal for Lent. And then I feel like if once I get into that routine, it was so easy for me to stay in that routine. So that's the goal. I want to get into that routine, stay into that routine. <laughs> so, um, so we'll see how it goes. And um, so that's that. But I'm going to write things down and um, just keep track of everything. I've been following this one guy on TikTok to, that does all these um, home exercise routines and it, it's easy stuff that I can do. So I'm like, okay. I, I, so I've been saving all his videos or marking them as favorites so they're in my favorite box. And then I can just look at what he's doing and then I can do it. And he, he says too, like 15 minutes is all you need a day to, you know, do stuff. He says, and then, you know, increase it as you go, if you'd like, and do some different things. So I'm going to try. I'm really going to try. I'm not an exercise person. Um, I just, but you know what? If I get all sweaty and yucky, then I can hop in the shower because I am home. <laughs> So if I end up showering twice a day, that's what I do. So anyway, this is going to be a long video again. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll do my cook with me separate. <laughs> so it's not so long. So I'm sure this is cooled off now and I'm going to eat and um, go get my banking stuff ready and run to the banks and then I will be home for the rest of the day and the weekend. Just going to the meat market tomorrow. And maybe if I have a chance, I'll video the meat market so you can see where we go. And because I always talk about it. <laughs> and then Sunday is just church. Sunday, depending on my husband, how he feels from the shot, which I, I, I think he's going to be fine. I'm going to cook. The boys have been asking for a whole chicken dinner with stuffing. So I'm going to cook for Valentine's Day. I said, I'll cook a whole chicken dinner with stuffing and then we'll probably have leftovers Monday of that. So anyway, so I have a lot to get done now. So I will see you all later and look for my cook with me and have a great Friday. So I thought I would show you how pretty my planner is for this week for Valentine's Day. So that is the week. I used um, some Chrissy Ann design stickers, which are these ones, and then my Planner Kate stickers. So I thought it came out very pretty this week for Valentine's Day. Good afternoon. So I wanted to come on here and just share with you my afternoon. So it's like almost 20 to five. I have dinner going. I have my oxtails in the Instant Pot. I'm actually doing a, a cook with me on it because last time I made it, everybody, I had a lot of people comment and say, you should show us how you make them. So I thought, all right, next time we make them, I'll do that. Um, so this afternoon I ate lunch. You saw the picture. I had my salad and my fruit and I, I didn't really have any plans for this afternoon. So I thought, you know what? I, I'm going to date myself here. <laughs> I have a Kindle and I love my Kindle and um, I download books on it. So I have some books downloaded that I want to read. 
So I can only read a little bit at a time, but at least on the Kindle, I can blow it up so it's bigger to read. So I'm like, I'm gonna start reading. I, have, I think I have three books on there I wanna read. So I don't know. Next thing I knew, an hour and a half went by. I was like, oh my gosh. I fell sound asleep. I must have been really tired because I never like sleep during the day ever because usually if I do and then I wake up cranky, I'm usually really cranky and annoyed. And <laughs> but I woke up and I'm like, holy crap. It was a little after four and it, it was like, it was like 2.30 last I had seen the clock. So I got up. And I got going on my dinner. So I'm going to put my corn on. I'm, I'm gonna make um, baked potatoes for dinner. So no big deal there, but I am cooking. <sighs> Just had a tired week. I am cooking bacon right now. Um, so maybe I'll do twice baked potatoes. I'll scoop the insides. I do have some cheese out right now. Um, some shredded cheese from something we had. It's in the fridge, so I might add that to it. And maybe I'll make some twice baked potatoes. I don't know. We'll see. And then I have corn. So I'm gonna put corn, I'm gonna put the corn in the steamer now. The baked potatoes take like 12 minutes in the microwave because I use my microwave bag. <laughs> so um my husband texted me though, because I was like, oh god. I, it's not a big deal. We could eat anytime, but I like to try to be, you know, have dinner on the table you know, or almost to the table when he gets home at five. And I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> that's not gonna happen today. But he's been having a rough day at work, all kinds of stuff has been going wrong. So he called me at lunch. He's like, I'm really not taking a lunch because he told me everything was going on and stuff. I said, okay. So he just texted me oh, about 10 minutes ago and he said, um, I'm gonna be late. I'm still dealing with this stuff. I'm like, okay, take your time. I'll tell him I fell asleep <laughs> when he comes home I'll tell him so that's where I'm at so when dinner's done I'll show you and then I'll probably end my day but I had a good day but I didn't really I didn't really move too much today um I was I just worked on stuff this morning in my bedroom I had some like desk and computer work to get done I had to do in my phone has been ringing and ringing because Monday's the last day to order for our Lent market. So of course, I don't know. Everybody waits till the last minute. <laughs> Except for when it comes to like other things, everyone wants to be first. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. So I'm just uh, gonna get that corn going now. And so we'll probably be ready to eat by like 5.30. So that's not too bad. So that this, and then this way I'll say, don't rush. I held dinner back a little bit, <laughs> but I will tell him that I fell asleep. <laughs> so I will see you all when our dinner is on the table. Look what I got. I'll put them in a vase, show you what they look like. Okay, good evening, it's 10 to eight. And I um, I forgot to film what I had for dinner, but all I had was a baked potato. I did not do the cheese and bacon, I just didn't feel like it. And some corn, I didn't have any oxtails or nothing. So, um, I have like 14 points left for today. I don't think I'll have anything. If I have anything, I may have some popcorn, but we'll see. It's late. I just got done cutting the boys' hair because, you know, since the whole COVID thing has happened, I've been the, the hairdresser. I even have gone to people's houses to cut their husband's hair. Very strange, but I have. So, um, so that's it for my day. I'll show you. I, I did a little cook with me on the oxtails because I think I told you last time I made it, people asked me to do that because they either one never cooked them or don't even know what they look like and stuff because I had a lot of people comment on it. So I did a cook with me and I'll show you the ending video where I show what they look like. So um, 
I think that is it for today. I got flowers from my boys. Um, I'll put a picture of those in there. And then I finished two of my beaded projects I had. One is going to be for, um, I'm going to keep, I'm going to put out for Lent. It's the, the one that says faith, the cross. And, um, the other one's just going to go like on my front doorknob when, when I'm done decorating, like for summer, stuff like that, spring, summer. So that is it. I am still tired, but I did have a nice nap today. But I'm going to end this video and try to get it uploaded and get into the shower. I have a movie on Netflix that came out today that I want to see. My niece, who's in high school, um, she's a senior. We love the we love these movies. It's called um, To All the Boys I've Loved. And um, the third of the movie came out today on Netflix. So I texted her the other night. I'm like, Friday's the day. She's like, I can't wait. So... Um, we watch it and then we text each other back and forth. <laughs> so, because I haven't seen them in months. I mean, I have not, I haven't seen any of my family in months. My husband sees my one sister because she works down with him, but I haven't seen her. <laughs> so, anyway, so I'm going to end my day here and I should be able to bring you along this weekend unless I get busy doing something but I don't plan on that we, it seems like we have a pretty easy weekend this weekend so have a great Friday and I'll see you tomorrow okay here it is all done you see what I mean I don't know if you can tell but the the top layer is like grease but here I pulled a couple out I here's one of the big ones this is what I'm talking about with the jellied stuff and then the small one has it too so it's nice and tender. The meat is real nice and tender and stuff, but that's what a oxtail looks like all cooked up and ready to eat. So the microwave's done. So thanks for watching.